Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we're on November 19th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you an update on space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything else affecting humanity. And right now, we're still observing that large coronal hole in the bottom part of the sun. Looking at 304 angstroms right now. No big sunspots to talk about. It's mainly the plasma filaments behind the large coronal hole in the southern hemisphere of the sun. Definitely keeping an eye on that. Incoming imagery right here. Left side, you can see the plasma filaments. Very elongated. Stretched out across the sun. Hopefully those stay on the planet. On the sun. And not directed towards our planet over the next 36 hours. We're going to keep an eye on that. Looking at outgoing imagery here, we did have another CME directed right at Mercury, though, on the back side of the sun as well. Outgoing imagery here, not much has changed. A closer look at the plasma filament here. You can see it stretched across the hemisphere. Looks like it might be connected to that little bright spot incoming. In the last few images there. Multi-spectrum showing all the events. The last 48 hours on our sun. No major CMEs nor solar flares detected or thwarted our way. Mainly, it's that coronal hole. It is the dark green region there and as well the black region here at 171 angstroms. We will see an increase in solar wind speeds and an increase in seismicity across the planet as we did last time a few days ago when that coronal hole wind stream jacked up our solar winds up to over 670 kilometers per second. Right now looking at a real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 450, coming down a little bit being over 517 kilometers per second, watching the density rise up over the last little bit. Solar X-ray flux remains low, as well as geomagnetic activity. ISWA space prediction spiral showing this CME yet again at Mercury and Bepi. And you can see in the ISWA spiral here, we will be affected by a coronal hole wind stream yet again. Looking at our Schumann residence for today. A power of 8. Pretty low power for the day. Amplitude of 8. Quality of 11.8. Quick look at earthquakes for the last 24 hours. We're sitting at about 100, or sorry, 250 earthquakes across the USGS map. Walton 3D here showing the last 24 hours. And the largest was the 5.6 in Isangol, Vanuatu, 136 kilometer depth. And as well a 4.6 Loyalty Islands, 10 kilometer depth. Philippines saw quite a bit of action today as well. A 5.4 and a 5.1. Jovalier, Philippines. And as well as San Ignacio. Indonesia seeing a minor rumbles there. Up into northern Pakistan, a 4.3. Looks like Afghanistan. Yeah, 4.3 Afghanistan, as well as 5.1 here in Turkey. And as well a 4.8 Greece. Notable here, a 4.2 in Svalbard, the North Pole. Down into South America now. Pretty quiet through the day. 4.8. San Antonio de los Cobros. 230 kilometer depth. That's the deepest the last 24 hours. As well, Panama reporting a 5.2 at a 10 kilometer depth. 4.7 there in Colombia. Minor activity coming back to Puerto Rico. Dominican Republic. Across the United States. 3.1 here in Coyonosa, Texas. As well, a 4.5 Libertad, Mexico, 10-kilometer depth. Gulf of California is still going off this week. 
and as well a 3.4 here to report Montana, Coal Strip, Montana. Now they're saying it, that's a quarry blast. Now that's a pretty large quarry blast considering there isn't even a quarry near the region of this epicenter. There's a quarry much further north of that, but nothing in the region where they're reporting this 3.7 quarry blast in Coal Strip, Montana at a minus two kilometer depth. So that's above the surface. Other than that, no major earthquake swarms to talk about across the United States. Look at minor activity through Los Angeles and as well the regular regions. We'll carry on here through Alaska, largest being a 3.5 through the region. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the world. Pretty quiet considering. I have a quick show of the last seven days around the world. And we've seen quite a few deep earthquakes recently. Still expecting larger shallow earthquakes to follow. And as well, activity expected through North American plate this week. In my opinion. South America seems way too quiet in my opinion as well. Increased activity this week through the Atlantic plate. And down into the South Sandwich Islands. And then we did have that 6.4 in Iran earlier this week. And as well, movement down into the Indian Ocean. Ring of Fire is definitely very active. And I want to take a moment here to thank everybody for watching today. And as well, supporting this channel, hitting the like button, getting in the comments section, visiting live streams. Much love to you all. And please just have a plan. Be ready. Because... Earthquakes can happen anywhere at any time. And as well, natural disasters are increasing, so we need to be ready. That means having a go bag ready with all of your essentials in it so that you and your family can stay safe, aware, and prepared. That was quite a long glance at the last seven days for earthquakes, but I wanted to take this moment just to give you a heads up and as well say thank you for over 40,000 followers Please keep sharing and caring. Morning Dew is here for you. Hashtag no fear here. This is not what it's about. It's about awareness and preparedness. Let's carry on here. Showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Pacific Disaster Center. Looking at Nevada Stichilian in Colombia. Karamiski in Russia. Landslide in Valcupa. Uh, Sabankaya in Peru. Ibu, Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Semis Nepochnoi, United States, La Palma in Spain, Nevada de Ruiz in Colombia, as well Fuego, Guatemala. Wow, many volcanoes getting updated today. Moving right along here, Semeru, Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, Era in Japan, Shavaloch in Russia. Dokono in Indonesia. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. As well, a couple landslides to report here. West Java, Indonesia reporting a landslide in the Bogor Regency. As well, there are a couple other landslides to report. One is not being reported here with the Pacific Disaster Center yet. But there is another one in Colombia. And of course, we have that massive one in British Columbia that has pretty much cut off Vancouver imports and exports in and out of Vancouver. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. Please come together and share in prayer for everyone. Quick look, no major storms to talk about, hurricanes or cyclones. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth and daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, as we've had some pretty mild temperatures the last couple days, and it's quite a swing, a little bit of mixed precipitation today, ice pellets, snow flurries, rain, but that's kind of the deal when we get this huge low dragging up from the south. We get all that warm, 
Gulf air mixed in between. Watch for high pressure ridge to build in and below freezing temperatures after that. But then I'm looking at this forecast and I'm thinking to myself, what is wrong with our planet? Because these systems should not be racing towards the North Pole like that. In my five years reporting here with Morning Dew, I haven't seen these do that. Overlooking the West, watch for atmospheric river to continue, but more northward in BC and then move down into Vancouver in the long range. But watch for very wintry mess across the prairies and as well minus double digits, if not triple digits through northern Alberta and Saskatchewan. Later this week, looking at a deep freeze moving in. Very strong, cold, high-pressure ridge funneling down. And that's to help. That's the low-pressure system that moved up into the Hudson Bay that will be help, helping fuel down all of these cold temperatures. But other than that, you're going to be looking at lots of heavy snow, higher elevations through BC. So the disaster will continue across the British Columbia Rocky Mountains. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, again, just very strange weather maps coming in right now. Huge, vigorous snowstorm that will be moving into North and South Korea this week and up into China, or sorry, up into Russia. These systems are getting bigger, stronger, and are packing a lot more moisture with them with a deep lower level trough. And I've been talking about that for a long time. Things have drastically been changing right before our eyes. Overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, watch for this low pressure system to keep spinning around the middle of the Atlantic. It could be a big weather story in the long range, depending on where it goes. But long atmospheric line of moisture here stretching from Jamaica all the way to Newfoundland, Quebec. Man, oh man, what is wrong with our planet? Overlooking Mediterranean, got a low pressure system trapped in there as well. High pressure ridge moving in from the United Kingdom is going to keep all of that moisture in there. So watch for heavy rains in some areas and as well heavy snows in higher elevations. Parts of Eastern Europe, watch for this winter storm to really start funneling down some cold temperatures. And as well, heavy snowfall amounts, parts of Finland, Norway. Overlooking Southeast Asia, not much to talk about except for that big snowstorm heading to both South and North Korea. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia. And then watching this five-day forecast, we got a low-pressure system spinning through the southern part of Australia. But then watch for a big weather bomb here happening in the long-range forecast. You could see some extreme weather coming your way, southeastern Australia. No major weather conditions coming towards Hawaii nor New Zealand. Overlooking South America, watch for heavy rains to move into Argentina this week. Then move northwards into Bolivia, Paraguay. Other than that, just daily evaporation rains this week. Nothing major to report. Overlooking Africa. Low pressure system moving towards the southern parts of Africa later in the week. And could be a doozy of a system there just south of Madagascar. We'll see where that one heads in the long range forecast. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Showing you the major systems spinning around our planet right now. And our northern hemisphere is going a little bit crazy right now. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye now.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.